Hey guys, welcome to another episode of DIYC. I'm your host, Min. And for people who have seen the other five episodes of DIYC, they'll know I haven't been posting videos for quite some time now, like a couple of months. And that is because I was on holidays and I was working a lot on my truck. So, I've done a lot to it since the last video. I've full linked it and I've done some more work on the electronics, I've wired everything up, and I've mounted the tires. So, currently it's running on 2.2 white dot HB um, rovers, which, are, which have um, Proline memory foams inside, and they're mounted on some RPM claws, spelled with a Z, 2.2 um, wide wheelbase crawling wheels and these things are really nice they're really soft and grippy and I think they will perform very well next I've got all my links and so most of them are running Revo rod ends except for these bent rear links I can't quite show you that right there these ones they're running the Dubro heavy duty rod ends yeah, those ones. They're ve they're quite expensive, but they look very nice, and they're they're actually even bigger than the Revo ones, so that's pretty cool. I'm running the whole thing sitting in droop because if I ran it in the sprung sprung version, then it'd be sitting like that. It looks retarded if you can see that. So yes, have to run it in droop. And I'm not sure if this is too high or not. If there's someone more experienced than me, please tell me. I've got like four inches of clearance. Um, so like three and a half on the front and four in the back. And I don't know if that's too much or not. It looks a bit high, but I don't know. So, yeah. And for batteries, I'm running Turnigy Nanotex, uh 5,000 milliamp hour, 7.4 volts, so two cell. And I connected them up using Dean's plugs, and I ran it under the brain box and all the way around to the back I've got all my motors connected up in the front with these green connectors and this is my current brain box so I've got it um, practically wired I haven't done my um, 4 channel um, transmitter yet I'm going to do that by myself so I'm kind of running a Hobby King um, system 2 channels just for testing purposes so I can test like forward, back, and steering. And I still have to calibrate my dual servo steering because the last time I calibrated it was with the old steering system, which if you see um, probably episode 2 where I was assembling it. And I had it kind of pointing, the servos were pointing downward. And so they had like, they were, pop, they were parallel with the actual steering knuckles. But now they have, they're like, par like uh, perpendicular to to them, so I have to redo that. And with this new falling system, I've got plenty of flex in this. So if I get my current transmitter, which is the Hobby King Two Channel, if you can see that, it's the HK GT Two. And I'm gonna put my controller on it, and I'll get my other camera and show you how much flex it. It's got that much quite a lot and yeah so it looks pretty good I've got I'm happy with the flex but I don't know if these tires are a little bit too soft I don't know maybe I have to get different foams but kind of as they are they're pretty nice I still haven't connected my servers yet because I still have to calibrate them as you can see it's running a droop I've got quite a lot of green like neon green cable ties just to keep everything looking nice and so yeah that's where I'm the sitting at now that I'm kind of running they're just being held in with some velcro heavy duty velcro I got from my um, like um, Home Depot kind of store uh, it's called Bunnings Warehouse if you live in Australia you know and then I've also got a lid for it the front body post isn't quite tall enough I'll have to like extend that with a spacer or something but it's a buggy shell because that's the only one my hobby store has 
hope that fits nicely and it looks quite nice came pre-painted so I, I didn't choose the color but it's okay but I'll have to extend the body a little bit with some extra Lexan because it's a little bit too small it's 10 mil too short in height but the rest of the dimensions is still cool so yeah thanks for watching guys and stay tuned because I'm probably gonna get some good crawling footage after Easter so stay tuned guys Thanks. Subs, subscribe, like. Yeah, you know the drill.